how do you think the UK will look in 50 years' time if immigration stays at around the current level? Melanie Phillips. Well, if it stays around the current level, um, it's going to look uh, very different. But I think it's looking very different now. Um, I mean, I think that um, there was uh, a policy uh, under the previous lab Labour administration to change the makeup of the country, um, to become a multicultural society. I think that was an ideological perspective that was put into practice for two reasons. First of all, because it was thought that it was better to be multicultural, that you would kind of break down bigotry and prejudice. And secondly, because it was thought that um, it was economically, uh, it, it made economic sense. And I personally think both of those judgments uh, were unwise um, because no one ever asked the British people if they wanted their national identity to be, to be changed. Um, and they, you can't get something more fundamental than national identity. What worries me about immigration is this, and I speak as the granddaughter and great granddaughter of immigrants who came to Britain around the turn of the 20th century. Um, so I know better than anybody, really, uh, or better than most people, that the many people that immigrants bring a great deal to a country and should be welcomed. But it has to be in proportion. It has to be uh, sensibly managed. Because if you have uh, the right number of immigrants coming in from cultures which are very different, you can assimilate them and accommodate them perfectly reasonably, and they add a great deal uh, to a society. But if you take in too many too quickly... Um, from too many cultures which are very different, not uh, apart from anything else, if they don't have English as a first language, you can very quickly overwhelm public services uh, which can't cope, the health services, doctors, uh, the schools. Um, schools can't cope with all the languages uh, being spoken and so on and so forth. And you also make it very difficult for the host society to assimilate them to become British which I think is terribly important. Okay. Um, because but if you have too many coming in, then you lose the sense of we all share in a national project. And you apply this to immigration from within the European Union as much as from outside? Well, it's simply a question of numbers. Um, it's, it's simply a question of too many people. I mean, we're, we're, we are a very overcrowded island. And our public services, quite obviously, I mean, in, 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 obviously in particular areas, some, particular, some areas are particularly in difficulties and others are in less difficulty. Um, but it's quite clear to me that uh, if you take in too, too many people, as we have done, too quickly, uh, you simply overwhelm public services wherever they come from. You, sir. 